Yes, Trey, sir. How have Trey and Evan pushed the veteran guys? How have those guys been instrumental in, in the leaps you've seen with Marcus and Ryan? And the yeah, I, I think they've definitely pushed. They've, they've elevate, helped elevate the room. Um, some new energy, some new juice, if you will. And um, you know, the young guys, so they're trying to impress new, and, and so they go extremely, extremely hard when they're doing things, and they're very intentional. And um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely lifted the room. Teach a guy who's never had to catch the football to catch the football. <laughs> um, you know, just it's just repetition again on the jugs and um, just stationary things. You, you go back to ground zero. Right? I mean, just like teaching my sons when they they didn't when they were little boys, and just like you teach them to catch. And, um, some guys were more gifted than others, obviously, but um, you, know, you just find you just find different ways to to, to enhance their skills. Tony, do you have an idea yet? How you would manage these five guys? No, no not yet. I'm, you go all the way up to the opener with that? Yeah, we'll sit down as a staff and start discussing those things, and you know, in the yeah, days to come, good. it's coming. Obviously, as we get closer to the game, 15 days away, I believe it is. And um, but we haven't, we haven't, we haven't done that, talk about that just yet. I mean, I, I'm starting to have an idea, you know, just for, um, just for myself, but uh, we haven't sat down and really discussed that yet. It seems like the way it goes. I'm we practice someday and maybe somebody's talking about Travion the next day it's mine like, it seems like all of them can bring something to that position forward. yeah they, they can you know you said it seems like some days we walk away talking I don't know who Lee is <laughs> maybe you guys um but yeah they all do I, I mean I think um you know I know for a fact I feel good about those guys that can put them all in games some days guys have better days than others that's that's the natural tendency of things that um that's kind of the ebb and flow and ups and downs that go on every now and again but um I feel good about all those guys right now Able to hear and you have five really talented guys in that room. That's a good problem to have. It's a great. First of all, it's not a problem. Okay. You know. How would you want me? Because you only got one ball. How are you going to divvy that up? Like I said, I was just saying, I'm not sure. We haven't figured that out yet. And you know, you guys ask me that every year, probably five, six times a year uh, in the spring. In the summer, it's the same questions. Or was it going to be by committee? Is it going to be this way? Is it going to be? We don't know yet. And um, here's what I do know: that whatever and I say, the same time every time. Whatever it takes to win games, that's what we're going to do. And um, we're not into making guys happy. This isn't a happy camp. And, and um, like I said, we're going to do whatever we need to do to win football games, whatever that looks like. And we haven't come up to. We haven't come right now to the to the. We haven't solidified exactly how that's going to go yet, as far as the rep counts and things like that. But that, that'll 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 play itself out. Would you, you be comfortable with any of the five? I would, I would, and then you know definitely four of the guys I feel comfortable with everything. And um, you know Evans, Evans really gotten better. You know, as a young guy, and, and he's really gotten better in the past week. We really started to see his game elevate. He's starting to play a lot faster. He is, he's, he's got some juice, especially when he gets out on the edges on the perimeter. So he's definitely going to be very happy with he's coming right now. Um, but yeah, I think all five guys are out there in play games. Well, just the way he prepares. You know, he prepares like a pro. Um, you know, he, he's, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get flustered. Um, never too high, never too low, good or bad, right? Things that that'll happen within a, within a matter of practices or meetings. And uh, he's a pretty even keeled guy, and brings great energy every single day. Um, and again, he's very serious about this game. And the thing that he doesn't make he doesn't make many mistakes. He doesn't make many mistakes. Tony, the commitment that you made. I'm sorry. The commitment you made physically yeah. this off season. This is about ten pounds lighter. Um, where do you see that show up on the field and practice? And yeah. like, how do you see that manifest to where he puts himself in a position to be more of a factor? Well, I think it's, it helped with his lateral quickness and um, short space burst and things like that. That certainly helped him, helped his cause and um, his stamina, things like that. And, and so you can see that that's helped. And it also talks about talks about your buy-in. Here are the things you need to do to get better to play. Either you do or you don't. You know, we have a thing saying right here, it's either thumbs up or thumbs down very easily evaluated and, and so he's doing the things mind is, is doing and has done the things that are necessary to get his body and his mind right to play. With Evan and Trey, it seems like recently outside the game you know, like, I would have two sides of the same running back point. One seems to be more 
probably towards me that I'm passing away. Mm -hmm. I'm passing my Lord. I did. Maybe it's, it's better between the tackle when they first got here. Have you seen that other side for you? Maybe yeah, that, 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 again, that's one thing. Yeah, that is, that's a fair question. Um, one of the things we're always trying to develop is a complete player, a complete back. Not just a guy that can go in on third down or a guy that can just do this. Um, so, you know, they've had to enhance the things that they're really good at and then obviously get work on the things that they're a little more deficient at. And, um, but they are, they're both in their own right, kind of coming into that space of being that complete player that we're looking at. And, and it's obviously a continual process, but um, very pleased with where they're at as of today. Tony, there's probably a, a difference between, you know, a, a, an experienced player and a player who is this sense of innocence where, you know, maybe they don't know yet what uh, what experienced players do, but you, you kind of try to protect the innocence of a young player, right? Uh, that equilibrium point might be a little different for each guy. You've Absolutely. got vets in the room. You've got young guys in the room. How do you try to protect and, and foster that sense of innocence with young guys and, and keep them willing to, to learn what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, that's, that's a fine line. And, and, and um, I think it's just, again, I, I always use the knowledge of raising your children, right? That, of, you want them to grow and experience some things so that they can continue to grow but not to where it becomes catastrophic or detrimental in their growth, where um, you, throw them, you throw them to the wolves, so to speak, where they can't, they can't survive. And all of a sudden it knocks them back 10 steps because of their confidence level and things like that. So I think a lot of it's just due to the fact that as, as a coach that, okay, here are the things that they're good at. Any player, not just a young player, but any player, here's what they're good at. Um, so let's make sure that we're allowing them to live in that space for a little bit so they can continue to gain confidence. But at the same time, matriculate them into situations where, okay, now this one, this, this water's getting a little deeper for you here. Um, but they can still survive it. And then when they kind of catch on to that one, you just continue to grow. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, so yeah, there's a fine line and everybody's at a different, everybody's at a different place. You know, they're not, they're not, they don't all start in the same, in the same, same level, if you will. And, um, but that's part of coaching. That's part of, growing young people and young men. But you have returning guys who are established. And you also got some talented young guys where yeah. the expectations are what they are for themselves right. and from the outside. What has to realistically happen for that young guy to unseat the guy who's... He's got to make plays. You have to continually make plays. Continually show the staff and the football team that 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 you can be trusted on. You know, when you talk about competitive excellence, when your number's called, are you going to deliver? As a young guy, you get, you have to be able to deliver, and that's in special teams. That's in you know meetings. If we ask you a question in a meeting, it's it's everything. It's not just it's not just on the field, right? I mean, it's it's everything. Are you are you accountable in the weight room? Are you accountable in meetings? Are you accountable to get to where you're supposed to be on time? They tell you to weigh in. Did you weigh? Did you do all the little things correctly that are going to eventually evolve to doing the big things? And um, and so this got to continue to make plays and continue to get better and. Where, where there's some tangible results that you can see day in and day out. And um, when their time comes, they, they got to be able to produce. Tony, when, when clearly with Master, there's no issue with effort. Right. Um, where does he make a jump? Where is the, the element that you wanted him to focus on most from last year to this year to get him to that next level of running back? Yeah, I, I just think there's some things, that, you know, in the run game, a lot of it's just being in the right place at the right time. Um, when a hole develops and opens that you're in that spot when you need to be in that spot and then have the ability to see it and then get through it and um, th that was probably the space where I, I personally think he needed to improve and, and he has he's, he's, he's showing that he's doing those things and um, yeah but effort's never been an issue and I got to be quite frank never, effort's not never's never been an issue with any of our guys I mean that's not it um, but it seems like those things are going pretty well for him right now And uh, but if they I also believe that, like you talked about, those young guys coming in and the way they compete, that it helps, it helps elevate the room, right? Um, so all of a sudden you really can't afford to miss something because the next guy might not. And that's just kind of the game we're in. Are you seeing? Yeah. You noticed, you could tell the Trayvon didn't play last year. Wasn't the next year. Was the you know, more in the spring, you know, more in the spring, him and Evan both. You know, I think that was one of the things that, 
they come in with such high expectations and, and the media hype and all these things that are great and it's and it's good for a pet on the back. But when you get in between those lines, it really doesn't matter. And and um, you gotta play the game. How do you get better if you're not actually playing? And and uh, so they needed to play, and you could tell you could tell in the spring that they were a little apprehensive on some things. One because they didn't know. Again, it's a new new system and everything's new to them. But two, they hadn't played in a long time. And it's one thing to play seven on seven. It's one thing to go out and run drills and throw the ball with your buddies. It's another no, no other issue to get 22 guys on the field and here we go. Um, but you can tell that they've settled in and, and with the calls and settled in with the way you play the game again. And and you can see that you can see that maturation process every single day. It's just a little bit better. And I and they may not realize it because they're in they're in that swirling bowl, if you will. But if you go back and look at practice one to practice 13, you can see it. Yeah, he's had a few. He's had a few of those wild moments, you know. And um, yeah, he has. He has. What would be fair expectations for him as a freshman? You know, I don't know. I, I don't want to put those expectations out like that. I don't. I don't want to say here's what the, the expectation is. His, the expectation for Travion and Evan and Master and Marcus and Mayan is the same as it is for Mike Hall, to be the best version of them that they can be every single day. And to, to, to try to help this football team be as successful as it can be every single day. Um, but to put some outside influences and pressures on them, I, I, I just don't think that's fair. Um, but I think you can get what you, what you want. If again, it goes back to be the best version of yourself, and that's going to be good enough. Tony, Travion yeah. was just talking to us about, you know, in kick returns sometimes he would let the ball roll because he knew he could beat guys in high school. <laughs> you know, in, in college, obviously, that's, and he hasn't been in a game yet to, to see that, and he knows that. But, you know, for a guy that's that talented and, and could toy with guys like that, to come in and, and teach them, you know, put them at the bottom of the totem pole, so to speak, how, how does that work? First of all, the ball better not roll on the ground. Let's, let's, I'm still trying to get over that comment first. I don't know the ball's going to let roll. What are we talking about? That? Um, you know, all those guys at some point in time, they're probably at the bottom of the totem pole, if you will. Maybe they're a freshman high school, whatever it may be. And um, you, you, you earn everything that you get. Here, that's how it should be in life. You earn what you get. And... Um, so just because you came in with, with all these accolades does not mean that, okay, well, we're going to throw him in over here because of some past stuff. Everybody in that locker room was a star wherever they came from. And so um, you got to go to work, and, and, and you got to earn your keep. And, um, but that's in recruiting, so it's not like they don't know that. And then these kids come in here, and they just go to work, and they, they get indoctrinated with the program as the older guys help them because they've all been in that situation before, mind you, a few years back. And, um, so, again, it's not about we're going to beat a guy up because he's young. It's just we're all in this thing together. We're all in here for the same reason, to win games and be the best that we can be. And, um, and some guys develop at different rates. And, and when they show us, guys show us that they can play winning football in that stadium in front of our great fans. And for this great state of Ohio, then, then, then no play. Tony, how much talk has there been because you've got a deep room that we all have to be in this together? Yes, we all want to. Every day. Yeah. And, you know, Every day. And, and how has that come together to come to you? Well, I, I think that that's, that's been, um, that was formed way before me. I, 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 would, I would guess if you went back in the year, I mean, Eddie George, all the way back, that's kind of been infiltrated into this building, and that's, that's, how, that's the culture of this building, the culture of this program. That, that we all need each other. And, and that's how they prepare. You know, you got guys like Marcus Scrawley that's helping young guys out. I watched Master T help Caden Saunders, the freshman walk on, you know, Cedric's son. And um, so those guys are always helping one another out. And, and sometimes intentionally, you know, I, I do want to be the bad cop, you know, where I can kind of say something and everybody else kind of jumps in to, to defend or help, you know, who, whoever. So. Um, but that's the culture of this room, and I think it, it's a testament to um, it's a testament to who these guys are as people. It's a testament to how they've been raised as, as, as their families have raised them, and, and it's a testament to our locker room. It's a testament to Ryan Day and, 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 the, and the culture that he's that, that he wants in this program, and um, 
so yeah, I, I don't, I don't. In our in our room, I don't know it any other way. That those guys help one another out because they all know at the end of the day we all need each other. So okay. you mentioned uh, Marcus. He was honest that maybe in the title game he wasn't feeling full confidence in that knee. Right. It's been a couple times we've been out here. He looks like he's back to his old yeah. days. Are you still seeing any? No, I haven't seen any of the ill effects. None whatsoever. His attitude's been fantastic. You know, he's gained weight. He's gained the weight that we asked him to gain. Um, so Marcus has done everything that we've asked him to do on and off the field. What can you know, if he gets back to what he was doing as a freshman? What can that mean? Right, it, means, it means a heck of a lot. And I like to think of him. He's a good football player. You know, he was showing. So he has some flashes this freshman a couple years back. And um, again, we're going to need them all. It's a long year. You know, it's a long season, and it's a grueling season. It's a physical season. The way we practice is physical. Um, so we're going to need them all, and all those guys. That goes back to your point of, you know, we all need one another because um, it, it's a long, grueling season. Tony, these five guys all look a little bit different in the way, you know, just from my eye, the way they do some things and stuff. What finally comes down to deciding who the guy is or who the two guys are? In your you know, I, again, it goes back to, you know, who's making the plays consistently in Give us the best chance to have success throughout the course of time. Those are going to be the guys that play, and you know. Can you get enough samples though from five guys to make you know what I mean to make that determination, or do you finally have to go with a little gut check? With some of that, I imagine. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you only got so many reps, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And so you're going to kind of have to go with some things. We kind of see flashes of things here and flashes of things there, and and. Um, make some decisions based on that. It's like anything else you do in this world. Yeah, and, and this specifically about Travion, I don't know if you want to talk about him, but when I watch him, he's got that, what I call that wiggle to him. Uh, you know, maybe into the line, maybe into the hole, but he's got these little moves he makes that seem almost innate and stuff. And, am I seeing that right? I mean, <laughs> is he special in that regard? Yeah, he's got some skills. He's got. Some I mean, Master skills. doesn't seem to show that same No, thing, you know, and everyone's a little bit different, but he's got, yeah. he's got some – different skill sets that can kind of get guys off balance a little bit just by kind of lean here and lean there, a little jab here, jab there, and that he can get defenders off balance just yeah. enough that, that he can squirt by him because he's got a real nice, he's got a good burst about him. One thing that's real for me is he, um, just before attacking a defender for a tackle, he, he does a good job of being able to, to level his pads off, yeah. get himself squared off, um, and you're not going to get real clean shots at him. And uh, we're not going to catch him off guard. He gets, he gets behind his pads really nice for a young guy. And, um, so, yeah, he's got, he's got some innate stuff about it. I'd like to say I coach it all, but I can't. Hey, one of the quickie, uh, uh, like you were talking about, a bro about master, you know, being in the right place, right time, whatever. Uh, is that Are you talking about like that millisecond of patience to let things develop? Yeah. I mean, just explain, you know. A yeah, bit that's more. exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that um, there's a pace. Every, every play has a different pace to it, if yeah. you will. And just finding that fine line exactly where that what that is and it's a little bit different for me or for you or depending you know the stride it's just a little everybody's a little bit different it's just finding that finding that niche exactly where it's at but he's getting better you got five different guys last question you got five different guys in this room who all probably have yeah, I mean, everyone's got that whatever it is, and you know, what's your why? Right? And, um, but yeah, yeah, I could see that, or that, that kind of helped push him some. And um, and again, when, you, when you're watching everybody else, and all of a sudden you see, start seeing people doing certain things, it's like, man, I better, I better get moving. Because that train, that train is continuing. Is, that train left the station. And it's going to start rolling, and um, I got to keep up. Whatever that looks like, and and so yeah. But everyone's got their different motivators, you know, intrinsic, extrinsic, whatever it may be. And um, if that was one of his, fantastic. And you see a guy get that early, like Trey Dillon, and then Evan work toward it. You get that. What does that? What does that mean for you? Well, I, I you know, we laugh and joke a lot about oh. I, I did that, you know, it's not a, this, this, and this, this never has been nor will be about me, right? Um, if I wasn't coaching the running backs, what's the day, this, what's the day, the 17th, 18th, they'd have another one here on the 19th, right? They have someone else coaching on the 19th. It's, I mean, it is what it is. Um, so really for me, it's all about, 
I think this whole coaching thing is really about are you helping develop these young men um, to be the people that they want to be, and the, obviously the football players they want to be too. And and um, can I be an avenue, and am I an avenue, and a caveat to help them, and a vehicle to help them achieve and, and continue to grow? Um, and so for me, it, it, it's 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 great. It's like your kids when you when you see your kids happy and fulfilled because they've achieved something. That that. Uh, that's that's a great feeling but not for me but for them because that's because you see that the work that they put in to achieve something and um so it so it does it, it you know you swore a little bit of pride hey that guy's doing well and, and i'm happy for him you know i watched the success of jk Dobbins is having i got I nothing to do with that that's him that's his success see those are their successes and i just happen to be one of the guys to, that i coach those guys and i'm coaching trey and i'm coaching everyone the master so when they have successes that's really a culmination of the work that they put in, and um, at least that's how I believe. You know, that's what I believe in, and um, and that's what we're here to do is to help them develop into the people and the, and the, and the players that they want to be.